What's up guys, Brother Rascal 15 I want to welcome you guys back to more Resident Evil Zero. Hope everybody enjoyed the last part of my playthrough. Alright, so we defeated the Scorpion and now we're playing as Billy again. And we're still in this godforsaken train, which by the way, we're about to get out of this. What? I can't leave this here? What is up with this game and not letting me leave items? Jesus. Alright, so I'm going to have to leave this room. See, this is my only complaint. Okay, we're off to a great start. Come on, we've only been playing for 30 seconds and already this game's pissing me off. Alright, <laughs> Jesus. Alright, so I'm going to leave the ink ribbons here. Alright, I'm going to go back inside. And I was going to grab the suitcase. You're going to need the suitcase with you. That briefcase that we uh, got in that closet after the scorpion fight. You're going to take that with you. Nope, don't care about that. I'm not reading any of the files in the game, people. I am not reading the files. Alright, so grab the briefcase. Alright, and just get out of here. Alrighty then, and we're actually gonna get Rebecca out of the, out of that, um, you know, when she fell through that hole and she's like on the other side of the train. We're gonna send her that lock pick. That's what the lock pick was for. And I'm sorry, lock lock pick. Send her that ice pick, and she'll be able to get out. All right, so we got two zombies. I'm gonna ignore them. Whoa, that zombie almost grabbed me there. Did you see that? So yeah, you're just gonna go all the way to the end of the train, all the way to the end. Oh, God damn it. God damn, there's zombies in the way. Get out, zombie. Alright, he's dead. One more. Might as well kill him. Alright, he's dead. Is that all of them? Yeah, that's all of them. Alright. Yeah, these camera angles always put me on edge because I never know if there's a zombie around the corner. Some people say those camera angles are primitive. It adds to the horror because you don't know what's on the other side until you hear it. Like, see, right now, like, I don't know what's in front of me until I move. I'm like, okay, it's a door. They can do those camera angles on purpose. All right, so what you're going to do is go over here to this little, uh, I don't know, what is this? There's an access panel here. You need some kind of tool open. Yeah, so go over to the access panel and use the panel opener that you got when the scorpion died. He left the pan panel opener. Use that, and it's going to actually create a shortcut. Now, you're going to have to go down there, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump down there right now, but first of all, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and send uh, an item to Rebecca, and that is the ice pick. Yes, place an item here. So send the ice pick. All right, hit the yes button. All right, now I'm going to switch to Rebecca. <laughs> I just like how she's bored. She's like, oh, finally you guys want to play as me again. All right, so now we go ahead and grab the ice pick. Will you take the ice pick? Absolutely. Now, fun fact, uh, Mafia gangsters would use ice picks as a weapon back in the day because it was actually easier to, uh, to wield and a lot more efficient than a knife according to the Mafia back then. So I thought that's a little bit disturbing of a detail. The doorknob is unstuck now. All right, so now we can leave. At least that's what I think. When I hear an ice pick, I always think of like mafia and gangsters and stuff. All right, and uh, oh shit, there's a burning zombie there. Just ignore him. Just ignore that zombie. Just, just ignore him. All right, and now we're gonna meet up with Billy. Now the one thing is Rebecca actually controls a lot easier than Billy. Like he, mo she moves a lot faster than Billy. But again, Rebecca, I forgot to mention in the last video, Rebecca cannot take that many uh, bites or any kind of damage. If she gets bit once, she's on caution. Billy gets bit three or four times, then he's on caution. Billy can take more abuse than Rebecca, but Rebecca's a lot more faster. And she can make herbs. She can combine herbs. Billy cannot combine herbs. So Rebecca's good for medic and mobility, but Billy's good for uh, strength and, in my opinion, using the stronger guns. Honestly, I prefer Billy over Rebecca, but that's just me personally. All right, so I'm going to be playing as Billy. All right. Come on. Roger. All right, so Rebecca's going to be following me. Now, what I'm going to do is actually give Rebecca the shotgun shells here. Yeah, here you go, Rebecca. Keep that. All right. Um, I'm actually going to make Rebecca come over here. Uh, follow Let's me, Rebecca. Okay. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Come on. Roger. All right, come on, Rebecca. All right, she's going to wait here. I'll check it out. Roger. All right, let me reload the handgun. 
Now, there's going to be a zombie that's going to show up in this door here, but don't worry, I know what to do. So I'm going to go down this crawl space. Now, do not take Rebecca with you. Actually, what you're going to want to do is go alone with Billy. And listen to me, go alone with Billy, like that little POV shot there. And we're going to see doggies. Oh, hell. So immediately shoot the dogs. Damn it. Come on, dog. What the hell's the dog? Did I get him? Yeah, he's dead. All right, good. I mean, if I'm being honest, the only thing that feels dated about the game is not being able to see where the enemies are at. If I am being honest. Take the F8 spray? Nope. We will take the shotgun shells with us. We're not picking up any healing items. And I'll tell you why. I'll explain why you don't need to take all the items. You're going to get these items later on. When the train crashes, spoiler. It's not really a spoiler because it's going to happen in the next like 20 minutes. When the train crashes, you're going to be able to uh, get collect all the items. As long as you examine it. Keep in mind, you had to examine the items. And when the train crashes, you'll be able to pick them up. If you did not examine the items, they are gone. So remember that. So go over here to this dog kennel here and grab the gold ring right here exactly where I was standing. It's going to be right here in this area when the dog breaks out. Grab the gold ring, combine it with the briefcase. And as you can see, the briefcase has two little holes. I forgot to mention this. You're going to get one more, okay? You're going to find a gold and a silver one. And when you get those two uh, rings, you're able to open that uh, briefcase. So I'm going to call Rebecca. And I got to watch out actually because Rebecca is going to get attacked in a bit. So we're going to call Rebecca, and I'm really nervous, so a zombie's going to show up here. Watch. All right, ready for this? You ready for this? Whoa, shit. Run, run, run. Now take out the zombie. Die, zombie, die. Get up, zombie. All right, he's dead. He's dead. All right, now we're going to place Billy. Open this door. Okay, now I recommend... That's why you leave Rebecca in the other room, because the zombie will break out, and you can have her shoot the zombie. All right, now, come on, Rebecca. Let's regroup. Okay. One thing to note, if you told... The last command you told your partner when you leave your room, remember what you said. If you left your partner... Like, if you left the room and said, stay here, and you come back into the room with them... You have to automatic. Oh, excuse me, automatically. You have to remember to hit the touchpad button to tell them to come with you. Like, see how I had to do that to ask Rebecca to follow me, even though I was in the room. The AI will not follow you until you give it a command. So remember that you're in control of the AI, not the other way around. All right. So that zombie had some bottles in that fridge. What you're gonna do with the bottles is combine it with the gas tank that we picked up in the dog kennel area. Combine it. You made some Molotovs. Now, right now, you don't need the Molotov, so leave that on the ground. You don't need that anymore. At least not for now. I'll explain later what you use the Molotovs for in the game. You don't use them anytime soon, but yeah, don't use them right now. Those are going to be very useful for a certain enemy later on in the game. I'm going to give Rebecca the shotgun shells. The thing that I was I forgot to mention in the, my first part is that this is what I'm talking about, that this is annoying. Your, each character can only carry six items. And keep in mind, there's going to be some items that take up two spots. And there are parts of the game where your characters will split up. And it's such a pain in the ass because having to deal with an item that takes up two spaces and only carrying six items is just, ugh, it's annoying. But I get what they're trying to go for. It's supposed to add challenge. And all right, fine game. So I'm going to give some Rebecca some bullets here. Uh, let's go ahead and give her half the bullets. Yeah, like about that. There you go. Okay. Um, and that looks good. All right. Now that Rebecca's going to follow me, she's going to follow you through the door you just unlocked here. I like how it says shut the door after you. Yes, we definitely want to shut the door after us. I'll actually show you how Rebecca will help you out in a firefight. Again, if you're playing as Billy, like in the last part I said, if you play as Billy and you command, you command Rebecca to shoot, she will only fire when you fire. It's, if you're playing as Rebecca, Billy will fire even if you're not firing. He will fire automatically, so keep that in mind. All right, so what I'm going to do here is, uh, it's a release lever. Pull it. You're going to ask Billy to pull this thing. Or it could be the other way around. You can actually have Rebecca do it. Now, click triangle, switch to Rebecca. I'm going to grab the hook shot here. Take the hook shot. Yeah, just like Legend of Zelda, you get a hook shot in this game. All right, and I'm going to show you where you use the hook shot. 
All right, and you're playing as Rebecca. Do not forget to hit the touch pad to tell Billy to come with you. Watch. This way. Don't forget that. Remember. Don't forget to yell the command. I remember I left the room and I was like, wait, why didn't Billy follow me? And I was like, oh crap, I forgot to hit the follow me. So make sure you hit that. See, right now Billy's following me. Actually, I'm playing as Rebecca. I mean, I want to play as Billy, excuse me. All right, so come on, Rebecca. You'll know if the AI is following you if you just see them walking behind you. If it's walking behind you, you know the AI is going to follow you. If it's standing still, that means you have it alerted. Uh, you commanded the partner to stay. Split up. Okay. See, like right now if I was walking, I'm like, Wait, Rebecca's not following me. Why not? And you're like, oh yeah, duh. You have to hit the command button to make her follow you. This way. Roger. See, if the AI is automatically following you, that's how you know it's you know it's gonna come with you in a room. So keep that in mind. Pay attention to that detail about your partner. If the partner is walking, that means you command them to walk with you. But if they're standing still, that means clearly you didn't command them to follow you. All right, let's keep going. I don't know if there's any zombies here. Oh god, here's a zombie. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Look out, Rebecca! Oh god, I don't know if the zombie grabbed Rebecca. If the zombie grabbed Rebecca, she will not come with me in the room. Okay, good. Now, fun fact, before I forget this, if an enemy grabs your partner and you leave the room, you actually have to go back to the room and save your partner. Or you could switch back to the partner, but just keep in mind, if a partner is attacked in another room, be careful. You do not want to leave your partner with a zombie. All right. And I think I hear an enemy here. All right, come on, Rebecca. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to ask Rebecca to give Billy the hook shot here. So Rebecca, give me the hook shot. All right, I'm going to show you what you do with the hook shot. So stay here, Rebecca. Let's split up. Okay. Now this is what you use the hook shot for. Go to this window here and use the hook shot. It has to be on this window, by the way. Only on this window you can do this. So you shoot the hook shot here. All right, now we're back on top of the train. Don't worry, Rebecca's fine, in case if anybody's wondering. And don't worry, if you commanded your partner to attack, um, even if you leave your partner alone with a zombie, they will automatically shoot the zombies in the room, if there's any. So don't worry, if there's a zombie in the room that I left Rebecca in, she's automatically shooting them. All right, so now we got this zombie here. I'm gonna take him out. All right, he's dead. Six shots and he's dead. Remember, if you see the pool of blood, that's how you know they're dead. All right, so now grab this jewelry box here. Examine it. Yes, open it. And there you go, there's the last ring. So that's the silver ring. And now you combine it with the briefcase. Examine the briefcase. And inside is a Blue key card. So yeah, now you have the blue key card. All right, now I'll show you where you're gonna use the blue key card. So let me reel up my handgun. By the way, there's no other items in here. On the floor, there's a knife there, but I'll be honest with you, you don't need it. The knife is really useless in this game. You can really dodge zombies in this game like you can in the remake. It's a lot harder to, do to dodge zombies in the game. Oh God, and now we come to a new enemy type in the game, the leeches. Now these enemies are terrifying. This is this is probably the scariest enemy for me in the entire series. The leeches are terrifying because th if you see a bunch of them, they can mold into a leech zombie and it is scary because the only way to kill them is with fire. So think of it like the uh, plant enemies from Resident Evil 2 Remake. Oh God, so there's a green herb here. I'm gonna go ahead and examine. Ah, Jesus, the leeches are getting on me. So I'm gonna examine that and leave it again. Remember, the reason why I examine an item and leave it is because if you did not examine an item, again, like I said, if you did not examine an item, you will automatically lose it when the train crashes. So keep that in mind. All right, come on, Rebecca. Let's regroup. Roger. So now what you do with the key card is now we're gonna go all the way forward. Yes, all the way forward, but I gotta watch out because I hear some zombies. Rebecca, look out. Rebecca, look out. Jesus! No! Rebecca, behind you! Damn it! This is bad. This is so bad. Rebecca! Oh my god. Oh my god, that was intense. Alright, uh, Rebecca took some damage from the zombies. I'm fine. My health's fine. Uh, so I'm gonna have Rebecca use an herb. Rebecca uses this. There you go. She's fine. Yeah. 
Oh god, my dog's barking in the background. <laughs> that was not a zombie dog in the video. That was just my dog barking in the background, guys. <laughs> my dog was doing a jump scare on me. Okay, Rebecca. Oh shit, he's still alive. Okay. So you saw there, you can get cornered by zombies from both sides. If there's zombies coming from both sides, what your partner will shoot one side and you'll shoot the other. So that's one thing I do like in this game. See how Rebecca was shooting the zombie behind me and then I was shooting the ones forward. That's a cool detail. I really like that in the game. Pretty cool uh, little details in the game that, you know, make the scene. Like that always comes off very intense when you're just in a firefight like that with the zombies. All right, so this is where you use the key card. So go ahead and use the key card here. The door is now unlocked. You won't be needing this card anymore. Throw it away? Absolutely. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, you don't need the hook shot. So throw that away as well. All right, now go through the door and you get a cutscene here. This is Delta Team. This is Delta Team. We have gained control of the train. Over. Understood. Wesker and William Birkin. How was the T-Virus leaked? Now, if anybody played Resident Evil 2 Remake, this is the guy that becomes the monster in Resident Evil 2. The one in the white lab coat. That's irrelevant. We must make sure no knowledge of this gets out. Destroy the train. Completely. Yeah, so if anybody saw my Resident Evil 2 playthrough, that's him. How far away are you from the nearest branch line? About ten minutes to... Huh? Oh, got the leeches. Really? What happened? Oh my god, oh, poor umbrella soldier. Damn. So yeah, those were soldiers working for Wesker and William Birkin. Now, for those who don't know, Wesker and William Birkin are actually the people that took over Umbrella and perfected the T-Virus and the G-Virus, which are the viruses that made all these monsters. They were not the creators, but they were the people that took over the company. You know, they were, uh, I'll explain later on who these people are, Wesker and William Birkin, because they did not make the T-Virus, it was actually somebody else, and I'll show you in the game who that person was. There was somebody before these two um, scientists that actually made the virus. It was not those two. The train will either derail or crash. I gotta stop this thing. Okay. Now, what I recommend doing here in this part is says, who will stay behind? I'm actually going to make Rebecca stay. I'll go over to the back deck and manipulate the control panel for the brake. Then you apply the brake from here, okay? All right. Billy. What? Be careful. Yeah. Now, I recommend sending... Oh, the song is awesome. This is what I mean that the music's kind of cheesy in the game, but hey, it's kind of cool. I mean, I kind of take back what I said in my first part of the game where I said the music's cheesy. I mean, it is a bit cheesy, but damn it, it's it's pretty cool. I love the soundtrack to this game. All right, so don't forget to grab the key card here. Please do not forget to take this card. If you forget this card, oh man, I just, I, I pray to God that you just save the game because if you didn't, man, you're going to cost yourself the entire game. So take this card. Let me, let me say it again. Take this card. Do not forget it. It was right here, okay? So do not forget that key card. Now, I picked up some handgun bullets here. And, alright, so we're going to go ahead and stop the train. So Rebecca's going to be on her own here. And I got plenty of bullets, so let's go. We got exactly three minutes. Or how, many, how much time was it? Like three minutes and 55 seconds? Yeah, oh no, it's like three. Yeah, three minutes. Oh god, so ignore those zombies. Just ignore them. Don't pay any attention to them. Don't even bother with them. Only shoot the zombies if necessary. So go, 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 go. Go, go, go. I'm going to see if I can run around the zombie here. Whoa, okay, I got real lucky there. I got real lucky he missed. Yeah, so all you got to do is literally go to the... Remember where we got the hook shot? That's where you got to go. Literally the end of the train. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah, oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Too many zombies. Run, run, Billy, run. Damn it! Ah, get off me! Run, Billy, run! Oh my god. How's my health? How's my health? Run caution. Shit. Okay. 
thankfully there's a green herb up here so i'm gonna <laughs> what i'm gonna do is don't go up here but this is only the only reason i'm going up here is because i need a green herb because i just took some damage from those zombies i'm telling you people this game is hard this is not don't think i'm doing bad on purpose this game is legitimately hard so take the green herb there you go i'm on pine now awesome all right once you leave a room the leeches get off you by the way i know y'all are saying what rules you had leeches on you don't worry the uh they get off you in the next part. Oh god, look at all these zombies. I don't have time for this bullshit. I need to get to the end of the train. I don't know how many zombies there are, but there's a bunch, I'm sure. Oh god. Get out of here. That's a police officer zombie. That's one of uh, Rebecca's soldiers. I mean soldiers. One of her teammates. Now, fun fact. If you were playing as Rebecca, she would recognize who that zombie was. But since... Uh, that's just a cutscene you get if you were to send Rebecca back here instead of Billy. But I don't want to get that cutscene because I don't want to, you know, get frustrated with, um, you know. I don't want to get frustrated with the fact that if I send Rebecca... Because remember, Rebecca cannot take that much damage. I do not want Rebecca to get killed. Actually, I'm going to grab that F8 spray. I'm going to take this with me. Yeah, grab the F8 spray, take it with you. Alright, we're already here. We made it to the room. Now, I'm going to show you where you use the magnetic card. So go over here, select the magnetic card, use it, and you're going to have to do a puzzle here. Very easy. All you're going to do is add up the numbers. You, you see how there's like 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's 11 little bulbs there. You have to make 67 with 11 moves and exactly 11 moves. Okay, so watch. So I'll do my math here like 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, I'm turning into a German. 4, uh... Four, uh, six, three, four, five, six, four, and one. There you go. Guys, I'm not really good at math. Don't judge me. This is Billy. I've engaged the control device for the break. Over. Roger. I'll put the break on now. All right, Rebecca. All right, so Rebecca's going to go ahead and do it. Okay, now this one's harder because see how the number's broken there? So I had to remember the, the, you have to do the math in your head, so... 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, um, uh, what is it, 77, 81? Yes, I did it. Okay, I got it. So yeah, basically just do all nines and the last two make it five and four and that's how you do 81. All right, I'm smart. I did math. I, I did first grade math. Oh god. Something tells me the train's not gonna stop. Oh my Jesus. Hurry, stop the train. Oh my. Yep. Nice parking job, people. Well, they're dead. There's no way you can survive that. Everybody knows you would, you know, have two, 25 broken bones and maybe, you, you know, you broke a hip or something, you know, concussion, you know, blood trauma. You know. Oh no, or, or they're just fine. So, Rebecca's probably the most badass female character in Resident Evil history because she survived a helicopter crash and a train crash, and her hair still looks really beautiful, and she still has her makeup on point, so. Rebecca? Rebecca's best Rebecca. waifu, everybody. I'm here. Yeah, look, all she just did was, like, sprain her arm. Are you alright? Hey, you managed to stop the train. Yes, we managed. Managed to stop the train. We just almost killed, like... Okay, whatever, Billy. Oh, God. Okay, all right. So, I'm playing as Rebecca. Did you see how Billy automatically was aiming at the zombie? Billy, don't do that. So, I'm going to go ahead and just command Billy not to use the weapon. So, here's the thing I'm going to do. We're going to get the hell out of here. Like, we're going to run. Billy, come on. I'm going to grab some of these items here. Keyword being some. All right, I gotta hurry up because all these zombies are gonna get me. See how all the items are here? Literally every single item is here. Every single item that I examined in the train is now on the floor. You have to go ahead and pick them up, but the problem is there's some zombies now. So what I'm gonna do is something really crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go in this nasty poo-poo water. Come on, Billy. First of all, I'm gonna combine these two herbs. All right, here's the thing, what I'm gonna do. Check this out. So I'm gonna be playing as Billy. Combine my bullets there. Nice. 
Oh man, this is gonna be intense. What I'm gonna do is give Rebecca every single item, everything, even the bullets. Give her everything, and uh, even my. Uh, no, actually, no, I'm gonna hold on to the pistol. All right. So I'm gonna tell Rebecca to wait. Let's split up. Roger. Now my plan is to get every single item. Okay, not every single item, but some of the items. I need some of the items. So I'm gonna try to see how many items I can grab and try not to get myself get killed. You know, I'm not. Oh man, this is gonna be intense. Oh god, look at all the zombies. Look at all the freaking zombies. Don't grab me, don't grab me. Oh god, they almost they almost grabbed me there. Alright, so grab the Molotovs. Grab the Molotovs, please. Man, I have to somehow not get bit here. Alright, so let the zombies get close to you. And run! And immediately run. And just ignore them. So I'm gonna grab the green herb here. Shit, man. I'm nervous because if I get killed, it's all over. Alright, alright, alright. So first aid spray there I want. Oh my god, no, no, the zombies are getting too close. Grab it, grab it, grab it, Billy, hurry. I'm gonna get bit, I'm gonna get bit, I'm gonna get bit, I'm gonna get bit. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, okay, I'm good, I'm good. All right, I'm gonna try to run around them. Try to run around them. Carefully, just, they're stupid, they're zombies. They're, you know, they ain't smart. All right, grab the, grab the first aid. Billy, grab the first aid. You, can, you guys hear me pushing the button really like mad. <laughs> oh my God. All right, all right. Just run. Run! I don't care about the shotgun. Don't give a shit. Oh, I'm hitting the wall there. Okay, I did it! <laughs> give your boy a comment for that awesome zombie dodging. That was intense, dude. Oh my god. Okay, Rebecca. Look at her. She was just like putting her hand on her chin, like all bored. Yeah, yeah. You try going in there, Rebecca, huh? Come on. Okay. All right, let's do this. Let's get out of here. Come on. All right. So the items I grabbed in there was the Molotovs. A green herb, a first aid, and the hook shot. Those are the items I definitely want. The other items I don't care. There was a knife, an ink ribbon, and the shotgun. I don't need that. Yes, you heard me right. I don't even need the shot, the shotgun. Excuse me. You don't even need the shotgun. I'll explain why. You're gonna get a better shotgun in the game. So what I'm gonna do is leave the, the hook shot here. What? I mean, I can't leave it here. Yes, I can. Come on, game. Let me leave the hook shot here. Wrong button. What? I can't leave the hook shot? Excuse me? Why can't I leave the hook shot here? They usually let you leave an item here. There we go. Okay. They were oddly specific about the area I wanted to leave it. See, that's kind of annoying. That's why I'm saying that that mechanic's kind of annoying. The whole dropping the item. It has to be in a specific area of the... Like, it's dumb. I don't like that. All right, but that's just me nitpicking, guys. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it's a little detail that I found annoying. Like, really? You have to be standing on a specific spot? Hey, does this look familiar? It's a mansion, just like in Resident Evil 1. I'm getting deja vu. A research center? Who's that? Rebecca looks like a boy in this cutscene. The first general manager, Dr. James Marcus. Who on earth are those people? I don't know. She's just a rookie, a member of STARS. Hmm, what about the male? I'm unfamiliar with Attention. him. Attention, hmm? this is Dr. Marcus. Please be silent as we reflect upon our company motto. Uh oh. Obedience breeds discipline. Discipline breeds unity. Unity breeds power. Power is life. <laughs> Who are you? What the hell? It was I who scattered the T-virus in the mansion. Needless to say, I contaminated the train to... What? What? Revenge on Umbrella. Oh my god, not the opera singing again. So yeah, this is the guy that actually spread the virus in the mansion and in the train. This guy! Is the man who created the T-Virus. This opera singing dude. Do you buy it? Because I don't. Dr. Marcus? <laughs> Ten years ago, Dr. Marcus was murdered by Umbrella. You helped them. Didn't you? <laughs> so, yes. The, the plot twist? Well, if you can call it a plot twist. This guy here on the picture here, Dr. Uh, I'm sorry, Oswald E. Spencer, the guy who uh, owns this place and made the T-Virus, he's the opera singer. He is the opera singer. 
Now you had to bear with me. Please bear with me because this is going to sound stupid. He had so he came Oswald E. Spencer was killed 10 years ago and came back by the leeches. The leeches ended up bringing him back because apparently they tested the T-virus on leeches. The leeches ended up making him a zombie and brought him back from the dead, giving him the ability to look younger. Is that fucking stupid? Yes, it is. It is really stupid. Yeah, look, Rebecca's reaction right there. Do you see Rebecca? That's my reaction. I was like, what? I was willing to bet because Resident Evil 1 was doing the whole the scientists and researchers created the virus. I was willing to buy that. Not some old scientist got killed and came back alive as a zombie opera singing dude who controls leeches. It's just ah uh, what the okay, listen, I, I'm not going I'm I'm done ranting about that. That's just the only part of the story where I'm like no, it's too stupid. It's too silly. It's just dumb. I'm sorry. Sunya Metalhead, I know you love this game, but please tell me that that is the dumbest explanation ever for a video game's backstory other than... It's a zombie virus! And you got an opera singing leech man that created it. I, I just... Uh... Alright, I'm done ranting about that. That's I'm done. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do... Is, uh, I'm actually going to end the playthrough here, everybody. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the second part of Resident Evil Zero. Tune in next time where we will explore the new uh, mansion, just like in Resident Evil 1. Now, this is when the game gets really good because the train part sucks. I don't like that part, but after the train, the game gets really good here. All right, so this has been your boy, Rose of the Rascal 15. Hit that like button, share button, subscribe button, comment down below, whatever you want, as long as it's not offensive. And, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this part, and uh, stay awesome, guys, and I love you all, and God bless. All right. Opera singing man that created the virus. I just it's so stupid. <laughs>